Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com In this video we will look at how to start page numbering from page 3 of a document. So I've got a document open on screen at the moment where I have a cover page on page 1 and then as I scroll down I've got a table of contents on page 2 and then the body of the document really begins on page 3. So I want to insert some page numbering into the footer of my document but I want that numbering to start from page 3. So I'm just going to scroll up to my page 2 and I've already got like my table of contents and the body separated. And if I turn on the show hide button on the home tab I can see that I've currently got a page break that is doing that job. Now I'm going to have to change that page break for a next page section break to initially create a section or two sections in this document. We'll have section one which will be the cover page and the table of contents and we'll have section two which will be the remainder of the document in this example and that would in mean that we can isolate the page number into that section and tend to start from there. Now section breaks if you're new to this are a really really useful technique in Word and if you're going to create long documents uh, which you probably are if you're watching this video is a very big skill to uh, to get used to. Okay now I'm going to get rid of this page break. Now let's get rid of that little paragraph mark there. And I'm going to go to the page layout tab up on that ribbon. And I'm going to go for the breaks button where we have different types of breaks. And I'm going for a next page section break. So that will push the solar system, the first chapter back onto page 3 and make it look very similar to how it was a moment ago apart from instead of your standard page break we have a next page section break. So now we have two sections in our document. I'm just going to turn my show hide back off, no real reason for that I just like to toggle it on or off and don't personally like it on all the time. And now I'm going to get into the header so I'm just going to scroll to page 3 I'm going to double click in the kind of top margin, sort of header area of this page as a quick way to get into headers and footers and I'm just going to click my go to footer button up on the ribbon to get into the footer and get into the footer any way you feel comfortable. Now I want to insert a page number here but just notice that it says that my footer is section 2 and then it says same as previous and if you notice on the footer on the previous page no surprise I guess that it says section 1 and there is no same as previous because there is no previous to the first section but this is telling me that at the moment if I insert a page number onto here it will also appear on pages 1 and 2 which is not what we want and the reason for that is something that makes headers and footers unique when dealing with section breaks is that by default they do not follow that they have this link to previous turned on we can see this button up on the ribbon so it always adopt the same as the previous section so the first thing I'm going to do is disable that link take out the link to previous it's no longer the same as previous and I'll then insert my page number so I'm going to go to the page number button, I'm going to choose, well that's just taking an age isn't it, <laughs> I'm going to indent uh, or, or centre a line, must I first just decide I want a page number in the middle, I'm going for current position and then pick your choice, I'm going to go for accent bar 2, that looks like a very nice page number and in it goes starts from page 3. So if I scroll up to page 2 there is no page number but if I scroll back down to page 3 we have a page number same we're in page 3 
And if I keep scrolling just to be sure, we have page four and so on and so forth. Uh, the remainder of this section, which in this example is the remainder of the document, you may find other uses outside of this video for it. I'm going to click my close header and footer button to take us out of that header and footer. And that is how you can start page numbering from page three of a document. Hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergaga.com.